let's photograph Bodes and the Cigar Galaxy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are on an amazing run of clear nights here in the UK. The weather's been absolutely brilliant at the moment, so I've been trying to take advantage of it. And this is my sixth night in a row imaging from my back garden. So this telescope, the large Skywatcher 190 Maxitoff Newtonian, has been on the, the mount, the CEM60, all week long. I've just been putting the, the cover over the top of it um, to protect it from the sunlight. And it's been brilliant to just come outside take the cover off and image straight away it's been really nice so I'm really trying to make um, make the most of these clear nights I'm recording I'm capturing data so hopefully I should have um, a few videos ready to share over the next few weeks as you can see I've also got my second rig set up um, so that one's down there with the the wide field scope on so I'm capturing some data on that as well I've captured a couple of galaxies over the last few nights and I'm going to change my target tonight to Bode and Cigar Galaxy now these are two fantastic targets which will fit really nicely in my frame at 1000 millimeters. They're in the constellation Ursa Major about 11 or 12 million light years away from Earth. Because they are up all night in the constellation Ursa Major, they're a really popular target this time of year. And I'm sure you have seen some, uh, some images of them already, but I thought I would throw my hat into the ring as well. So I'm going for LRGB um, filters. I've got the new, um, or a new to me, um, set of LRGB filters um, on the 2600 Mono. So I'm hoping I can capture some decent data and bring you um, an image of Bode and Cigar Galaxy at the end of this video. Okay, hopefully you can see this, but I've uh, just spent five minutes or so framing the two galaxies in my image. And it, as you can see, a thousand millimeters, they just fit so nicely into the frame, into the field of view, um, especially with our APS-C size sensor. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm polar aligned, I'm all set up. I've uh, framed my target. And now all I need to do is really um, set, the, uh, set the camera going. Hopefully I can get some good data. whether you can pick this up on camera but it's actually snowing so all of the forecast tonight said it was going to be clear we have had a little bit of snow during the day but it said clear from about five o'clock onwards and it looked really clear when I set up but I uh, was keeping an eye out because I saw some pretty bleak looking clouds and thankfully I was because I've just come outside now and it's snowing so I've quickly put the uh, covers on the telescope so as you can see here and uh, hopefully this doesn't last too long but yeah we're on the 31st of March and uh, my imaging session has been interrupted by snow and it's freezing so I'm gonna go inside <laughs> Okay, so we're on night two of the Bode and Cigar Galaxy project, and I'm having to reshoot my red data again. Sorry if you can hear anything, that's Alfie, uh, Alfie playing with a ball at my feet, keeps on dropping the ball for me to throw. Um, so I am having to reshoot the red data again because I was having those banding issues that I mentioned in my previous video when I did the collab with Joe and Glenn. Now hopefully I've solved that. I think it was a red light from the ASI Air. Um, so I'm going to try and reshoot the red filter tonight and hopefully capture some HA data as well to integrate into that image to bring out a little bit more detail in the core of the galaxy. Um, so sorry if Alfie has ruined the sound um, on this, this clip. He just keeps on dropping this ball at my feet. Um, he's just caught it. He's actually just laid down now. So I might try and sneak up on him and see if I can get the ball off him.
Okay, so I managed to capture around seven hours worth of LRGB data, but I did have an issue specifically with the flat frames. So I'm not sure why this occurred. Um, I've taken flats with the telescope and set up many times before and I've never had this issue. But as you can see on all of the images, the flat frames just did not calibrate. And no matter what I tried, I tried it in APP, I tried it in Pick Insight, I was getting the same results. So I think this occurred because I was imaging over multiple sessions. I had the issue with the banding on the red filter and the camera, so the camera kept on coming on and off the telescope. And I thought I um, had taken solid flat frames, but obviously I made a mistake somewhere um, and they just would not calibrate. So I ended up having to process this image without any flat frames, which was a uh, big challenge to say the least. But I'll show you how I processed Process this now I'm very new to LRGB uh, imaging so this might not be the best way but I combined the red green and blue channel and edited that um, so I took the stars out um, and tried to edit that and get the colors uh, right as as I liked them um, these were the stars so I was quite happy with the stars I added these back in um, some quite nice uh, color in those uh, RGB stars which was good I also edited the uh, luminance filter separately just to try and bring out a little bit more detail. Um, there is some, some detail in there which is nice. Um, maybe I slightly overexposed the core of Bode's galaxy, um, so I did have to try and bring that back um, to in the editing. Um, so yeah, I edited the, the luminance and the RGB separately, and then obviously I added them all together to create one final image. So let me know your thoughts on that processing um, approach. Is that the right way? Is there a better way to go for the, um, the LRGB um, editing? But let me know if you know of any better ways to uh, edit LRGB images I will put the final image up on screen now thank you so much for watching please do hit that like button if you have enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing if you want to watch more videos like this and I will see you in the next one